Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make snowfall basically and make it change your environment a bit to to fit the basically the snowfall um, the particles. Um, so I'm gonna start with the particles node. Particles, and then I'm gonna set this y um, axis to be nine because we want to the particles to fall from you know above um, and then we're gonna set if I come here now it says some some warnings um okay we have to assign some purposes and then assign the material for the process process material here and then the purposes here so I'm gonna come here and then in the draw process we just need um, a, ba a basic mesh for the particles. Um, I'm gonna set it to be. Um, I think it's fair would be good. And then we have to set the number of the the the, the amount. And then basically, if I zoom in, okay here, and then. We have to set the process material, basically new particles material. Now, this is like the basically the base of the particle system. Um, we're gonna save the scene and then in the process material. Before we go to the process material, I wanna change the color. For this, um, and for that we have to assign a material after opening this draw pass here, and then. In the material, which is gonna go for special material, because I just wanna change the color in the video section. Um, I want it to be something like white and blue, in that blend of white and blue, maybe here, somewhere. Um, you can change to change it to any color you want. Um, I think this one is this one looks good, and then we also have to change the size of of this. Um, of this of this sphere, um, I'm gonna go with. Maybe we shouldn't change it here. Maybe we should change it um, in the process material in this section. Um, in this section, we can come here in the scale section, and then we can change the scale. Um, if we reduce it, three point two five. Okay, it gets smaller. Um, maybe we should put it like 0 0.1 something. It has to be super small. Um, yeah. Or you can even go smaller than that, like 0 0.05 or something. And yeah, now it looks more like a snow, a snow flag or something. Okay. Um, we got the scale down. Now we have to work on um, the, 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 the direction. And then direction has to be in the y axis going downwards. And then the spread can be like 90 or something, and then we have to work on gravity, remove the gravity maybe. Um, now it's not moving at all because I think we don't have any space, any initial velocity here. Um, initial velocity we can set it to be like something like 30 and maybe 4 is good. Um, as per we can set it back, um, now it's going upwards instead of going downwards. Maybe it should be minus one. Yeah, um, okay, it's throwing snow, but it's kind of super fast, and they also disappear after some time. So let's their let's set their some let's set their lifetime to be like maybe five seconds so they go probably properly downwards here. And yeah, it looks much better now. If you look at it from these angles, like from the game view, like maybe your character is standing here, it looks good to me at least. Um, but the issue is that they're coming from a single point. Um, we don't want that because snow force or maybe the rain, even the rain, doesn't come from a single point. Um, for that, we have to come here again and then in the emission check. Instead of a point, we have to set it to be box. 
um, now they come from uh, from different location we can set the box box x stands to be like 555 five, five, maybe now it's pretty random um, if you come down here again now it looks much it looks much better um, you can play with the extents, maybe set it to be 30, 30, 30 too, so it doesn't go outside too much. Maybe a little bit is fine, but not too much. Um, and I think it looks good already, but you can play with it if you want. Um, there, is a, there are a lot of things you can play with, like maybe angular velocity. Maybe you want it to be 30 or something. Or I don't know, I will just set it to be zero because it doesn't matter to me that much um, because I'm already happy with the effect. Um, also, you can hide this, or, although you don't have to hide this, but if you touch somewhere else, maybe you select this section, then you won't be visible with this like particle system effect because I don't know, you might not want to see this. So, yeah, so we already have this. Uh, snowflakes coming and uh, maybe we should extend the extents a bit more if we come here in this shape maybe like 555 five, five is okay and if I come here they're coming but they're a bit um, it's a bit dense on this side and a bit less on that side um, yeah maybe try this Maybe let's try it. 10, 10, 10. Now they are on this side as well. Um, they are not just dense in the center. And maybe you want to increase this, the particles, the amount. Maybe you can go with, with a multiplier like maybe 2. Um, now it should be much better. Um, if you have a big wall, like you have like a lot of things here, maybe a house there, maybe a mountain there, you can play with these settings. Um, yeah, with the amount and with the with the with the um this extension shape, and also with with of course with the damping and then the radial velocity etc. This can give you like different kind of effects. Um, you want to go for um, yeah to me it looks good um, now I will show you how you can play with some environment settings wall environment settings so you so it looks maybe like you want to have snowfalls snowfall in the night time instead of the daytime so you, maybe you can come here and then change the sky color to be a bit dark I don't know if you want to have it in the night setting or something I think in this looks okay you can just go with this and paste it for both of your ground and the sky color and then you can of course keep tweaking it to your liking this is just personal preference um, and after that after you play with the background you want to come to maybe to the fork you want to add the fork um, like this maybe and of course you can play with these settings depth enable depth disable and maybe you know play a bit oops <laughs> just a little bit but don't be scared if it goes anything like that you can just like if you had something like this you can just hit this and it should be fine um yeah now if i go a little bit farther away dip you can extend it a bit far away maybe four is good um maybe four is good there um, if you zoom in, as you zoom in, the the the, the, the environment is gonna be visible to you, but you can of course play with this. Um, yeah. And then as you go farther, farther, environment that is is gonna be like foggy and not so clear, which I think suits this kind of like snowfall. And then you can also of course play with the auto exposure and you know like maybe oops <laughs> these these are very like um very um scaly kind of things <laughs> um yeah maybe you want to keep it like 
zero point two or something. Or maybe you wanna have more like me, so you can just put it like zero point six or seven. I would say go for like zero point two up or zero point two down, like base was zero point four there. So you can either go zero point six or you can go like zero point two. Um either way. Um, I think 0 0.6 looks good, but we are going for an accent, so maybe 0 0.3 is good. Um, and then, screen space reflections, um, they're good too sometimes. But in this case, we don't kind of have anything that they can, you know, properly use screen space reflections. So, yeah. V is pointless here, it's just gonna use the memory probably. Um, then SSL, and then it's like it gives depth to your edges and corners, and wherever you know, if you have stuff like this, like the edges that connects the, the tree to the to the ground and then the leaves to the trees. So, yeah, um, you can of course also play with these things like intensity and then the radius of different shadows and everything and then there is like far blur and then the near blur that for the depth of field you can also play with these far blur and then the near blur um if you go like this not just it only not just that it gets um foggy it also gets blurry but as you go closer things get clear if i had the fog um it should be visible now that the tree behind is kind of getting foggy. Um, if you disable the, the 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 blur, you see that it's kind of visible now. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be visible on YouTube, but on my screen, it's really visible. Then, of course, you can also play with the with the, with the settings, like the amount and then the distance and transition and stuff, and then of course the quality as well. Um, but I think it's it looks good because the, 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 the stuff in the back doesn't have to be too sharp But as you move closer, it gives the details and, Whoa, it looks good And then you can also have near blur, but I don't think we kind of use near blur that much, but yeah So of course the the the, the, the particle color is not that it's not matching anymore because the Rami is kind of in the night time and particle color is kind of in the like a bit dark so maybe you can increase it or at the same time maybe um, we can make it blue or something emission something I don't know yeah I like that so it's a bit more visible maybe you want to keep it in the middle so it's not too glowy like it's not glowing too much <laughs> Um, I'm sorry for my English, it's not that good because I'm not that deep and I'm not good that good either. <laughs> but I hope you get the idea. You can play with these settings. Um, now it looks good, actually better compared to if we don't have emission. It looks like this kind of version would definitely work in a daytime environment. But if you have a bit more darker environment, maybe in the night, then I think adding the glow or the emission really helps. Um, if you go back to the world environment, world environment, <laughs> and then the in the sky setting here, you can of course get it further down because now we have like the glowy thing in, in a snowflakes, so it should be much better. Yeah, so. Yeah, there you go. We got a snowfall in the game, and we also added the near blur and then the the far blur as well. And at the same time, we can also add the fog. Um, if I go back, fog. Um, fog is a bit eh, but <laughs> let's see. Yeah, now better because here you kind of have to add um in the color for the fog. You have to add the color for the background. And that's why it was a bit bulky because the colors were not matching. Now it looks really good after adding the fog. Of course, you may want to you know change the color for the sun if you have the sun as well. 
um, to do, to the color of the sun. Maybe very similar, not exactly that much, but yeah. And yeah, it looks good to me. It looks good. I don't know how it appears on YouTube yet, but yeah. If if you had like a real kind of like models and CD environment, I think it would look good. And yeah, so with that, um, I am closing the video. Please subscribe and yeah, hit the notification or stuff like that. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.